if you take seven Adra dates every day, you'll not be affected by magic or poison. First of all, that magic is the same magic that was sent by Allah. According to the scripture, God does not associate with black magic. If a prophet prophesies and it comes to pass, that is a prophet. But guess what? A few pages later, even a false prophet can prophesy and come to pass. Is that contradiction or not? No, no, no. no, 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 no. When Jesus confirmed what was in his hand, yeah. what did he confirm? The true Torah, not this one. Where is the true Torah? Uh, no, we have religion. the oldest one, religion. which is the nah. Dead Sea Scroll. No, 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 no. Would you ever choose someone killing innocent people to sleep with their wives? Is, okay. that, is that a good so example? I wouldn't choose a prophet who, who takes the wife of his son-in-law. I would According to your book, to know who's a true prophet and who's a false prophet. So, in terms of knowing who's a true prophet, uh, it's quite clear early on in the New Testament that the person has to come in the name of Yahweh, uh, professing or confessing the, the God of Israel. So, anyone who kind of where you see in Deuteronomy where it says anyone who speaks something uh, other than what I have. Uh, Commanded him to speak, he shall be stoned to death. So, a prophet has to come as well, in a sense, confirming what has come before him and also confirming that Yahweh is the true God of Israel. Okay. So, this is the criteria, not that, as Hashim said, that Hitler could be. Uh, Shamsi, Shamsi. No, Hashim. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shamsi said Hitler could be uh, a, a, a prophet. A, a prophet, but this is a false statement. Okay. But we do have to create the criteria. Is David a murderer? According to the Bible, uh, did David kill innocent people according to the Bible? Okay. Yes. David lied according to the Bible. Mm -hmm. David set up his own friend to sleep with his own wife, to his, his wife, adultery. Okay. David, he's he, he as I set up his friend to be killed. So David was a liar, who was a murderer, who was known to be betrayer. Yet he's still a prophet of God. So when I say Hitler can be prophet of God. So if Hitler said to the Israelites, I came in the name of Yahweh, they can make him God. They make him prophet of God. Because if, if I say to you now, listen carefully, I say, you know what? Worship the Yahweh. But you know what? I came with a new message. Because if the criteria that I have to come in the name of Yahweh, I'm going to do it now. In the name of Yahweh, for the sake of arguments, yeah? That's what I'm doing. I'm letting him to use his book to show us if his book has a criteria to determine who's a true prophet or who's not. Then I will show him from Islamic perspective. First thing to show you they have nothing, they have, they have no legs to stand on. So now, ask me, if I say to you, I'm coming, I'm a prophet of God. You ask me, what is your sign? And I said, you know, worship Yahweh. Yeah, but Jesus is not God anymore. Would you accept that from me? No. But you just told me the criteria for a true prophet, he has to come oh, of the name of Yahweh. So a prophet, by definition, is somebody who speaks on the behalf of God. Not that they claim to speak on behalf of God. Yeah, but how do you so, prove that? So, da so David was technically a prophet because he did he communicated with God. How do you so, prove that? My point? So, so if someone claims as Hitler or whoever, that doesn't in itself prove that this person is a prophet because obviously the prophets in the Bible they actually did. So then we have to understand yes, how does a prophet uh, demonstrate that they are uh, from God? So God will may maybe do something to protect them or. Uh, do um, a miracle so there's many different things God can do and these are the things that we do not see with uh, Muhammad yeah before and, we go Muhammad yes. let's go back to so you said to me yes. the criteria because let us understand this before we move on to any point yes is the criteria to yes. know true prophet he has to come in the name of Yahweh yes. or there's another criteria because if it is the criteria yes me saying to you I'm coming in the name of Yahweh mm -hmm. you have to accept me yes. if you say no the claim is not enough yes. therefore how can you this, how can I prove my claim? Is it because I'm saying in the name of Yahweh or there's another criteria? So what is another criteria? Miracles according to the Bible is no criteria. In the Bible, let me clarify to you. In the Bible says, if a prophet prophesies and it comes to pass, it's a true prophet. But in the Bible again, it says, even the false prophet cannot prophesy. Contradiction. In the Bible said, the prophet of God has to do miracles. In the Bible, again, <laughs> false prophets can do miracles. So that cannot be criteria. You know what's criteria? Imagine, Pope, uh, paper boy, I said to you, so and so is coming to you. Mansour is coming to you. And in order for you to know that I'm sending Mansour as my ambassador, I'm going to give him an ID and my stamp on it. But be aware there's some fake ambassadors claiming to be mine. 
So you have five ambassadors coming with the same ID on a stamp on it. And all of them same, all of them are names Mansour. You will never be able to differentiate because the criteria is a mashup. The criteria means if you have it, that makes you true prophet. Yes. So see what I'm saying? So what is the criteria to make someone true prophet according so to the Bible? Again, according to, yeah. just, according to the strict definition, there isn't a specific criteria. And why do I say that? Because obviously Abraham, if we can if we want to go into technicalities, he was called a prophet. Why he didn't come with any signs. So it's not that ever. It's not that a, miracle, a prophet has to come with certain signs because otherwise God wouldn't have So there's no Abraham. criteria? So, no, but this is what I'm now expanding on. So, because Abraham did speak with God. So that, that is the criteria itself. Prove that to me, Abraham it's, spoke to God. It, it's, the, it's the proof in itself. Yeah, but always the proof that Abraham spoke to God. Because no, we see in the scripture... Yeah, what, what is the criteria for Abraham? No, no the, the criteria is not set out. It's that God spoke with Abraham and he was a, considered a prophet. So in terms of prophets can do different things, so prophets can come with different signs. It depends on who the prophet is. So for example, John was considered, John the Baptist okay. was considered a, a prophet, but what were the signs that he came with? He, his uh, prophethood was to announce the coming of Christ. He didn't do wondrous miracles. So to understand like you correctly, yes. there's no criteria to determine true prophets in your Bible. In terms for people themselves, as in if, no, no, that's God give a criteria. Like, okay, yes. for example, now, if I come to you, I say, I'm a prophet of God for the sake of argument. Okay? You cannot tell me, no, you cannot be a prophet of God because you're claiming it. Yes. I will tell you, Abraham claimed it as well. So what is the difference between me and Abraham? You can tell me, no, Abraham spoke to God. I say, I spoke to God as well. Okay. You cannot just prove but, that I never spoke yes, to God. But then, so what is the criteria? Yes, that's but, why Islam but, comes but, in. But then the, the people, if they follow you, then that will lead them straight to hell. That's up to them to decide whether you're a, a, a prophet or but not. You're saying that about me, but I can say that about you as well. If you follow, uh, the, uh, for the sake of argument, your prophet, they can't go to hell as well. So we just claim, there's yes. no what? There's no tangible proofs. But I will help you. Because what I just did, mm -hmm. to show the Muslims, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, In order for the people of the book to know that Islam is the truth. And the, the Muslims, to aim for their iman to increase. They have no criteria. The Bible cannot be criteria. Do you know why? Because the Old Testament cannot be criteria. Do you know why? Because the Old Testament, no one knows who wrote it. So if we don't know who wrote it, how can it be criteria? So the earliest manuscript that you have is literally 300 years before Christ. 1,000 years, nearly 1,000 year gap. So therefore, the book cannot be a criteria. You can approve what is in that book to be from God. That's why you see a lot of contradiction. One in one passage say, in order for you to know true prophet, he has to prophesy. Later on, he said even a false prophet can do that. Hold a minute. So, does a prophet, true prophet, prophesy come to pass? If it's the case, false prophet cannot do that. But even the false prophet, so it cannot be the criteria. Okay. So, Islam comes in. So I'll tell you where's the criteria for so, true prophet. So, so now, in terms of you said, uh, yes, the Bible does say that you have people that can do uh, like okay. signs and wonders. These are also what we call false prophets so for prince. example pe people can prophesy but this is from from satan so according to our bible for example god teaches people things that are good according to your quran you have two angels called harut and marut they were sent by allah to teach people black magic no 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 let me no no so so according so according to the if according to the harut and marut they came and they taught people black magic. First of all, this is, last week you said to me, can Satan do what is good? And you argued if Satan- you're not, it's going off, off topic. No, no. Because the topic, what makes you true prophet? Yes, but this is what I'm saying. God would teach you what is good. God will not teach you black magic. Because when I showed you Numbers 23, 23 it says, God will protect uh, Jacob. Israel, Jacob and Israel from black magic. Because God hates black magic. He hates sin. Okay. So he protects his prophet. So if someone is coming with a book that says God sent two angels to teach humankind black magic, it sets, it's, it sets alarm bells. Then it also says that that black magic cannot work unless it's by the will of that God. But then that same prophet has been bewitched. So why would a God send uh, two angels to teach people black magic and then allow that prophet to be bewitched when originally in the Torah, it says God protects his uh, his prophets 
from black magic. There is not one prophet you will ever see that has been bewitched because as we see in Deuteronomy, it says, you know, uh, a prophet that speaks something not in my name, he shall be stoned to death. So God hates black magic because let's say black magic can control people. So therefore, if someone is under the control of black magic, they could be speaking something other from God. But then when someone, their God claims that they send angels to teach people this, and that person is afflicted by black magic, this is not what we would understand as being linked to prophecy. So, because, uh, so I know you speak to be yeah. honest, but I'm not gonna let you do it again. Last week you did it, okay. you went off the topic. That's okay. completely off the topic. All right. I'll deal with it without yes. any doubt. Okay. But the main point as establish, you have no criteria okay. for you to know who's a true prophet and who's not. I let you have your play in the garden to show the people that they have no criteria. But now, I will tell you whatever says in your book to go against my prophets, I don't okay. accept it. You know why? Okay. Even if you cannot prove it. The, uh, the Old Testament. Okay. What is the earliest manuscript? It's the Dead Sea Scrolls. And uh, how many years after Moses and Jeremiah and Daniel? A thousand years or so. Yeah, okay, okay. The whole of the, the whole of that manuscript? Who wrote it? It's yes. Scribes. Do you know them? Not by name. Are they trustworthy? Pardon? Are they trustworthy? Are they trustworthy? Yeah. Why wouldn't they be trustworthy? Uh, if you don't know them, how are they going to be trustworthy? You, just assume, okay. you just can't assume that. So now, his, his book is what based on assumption. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَإِنَّهُمْ لَفِي شَكِّلْ مِنْهُمْ مُرِيبٍ They are in a clear, pure assumption. Doubt. Okay. So now, that, uh, that's the first thing. I will the, the, the knowledge that your book cannot be criteria for the Prophet Muhammad okay. The first thing that let's establish, you, Prophet, according to the Bible, logically doesn't make any sense that can be Prophet. Brothers here and anyone, if someone is a pure liar, would you accept him to teach your children? No, I'm asking him. If someone's a pure liar. Pure liar. He's not to be a liar and a murderer. He's not to be a liar, kill innocent people and to know he set up his own people to die because he wants to commit adultery. Would you allow him to teach your children? Make your point. No, no, my, no, 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 my question. Would you? Would you let him to be a role model for your children? If the person was from God. That is not logical, you know why? Because God is the all wise. God will not choose. Look, look, look. Watch this one, brothers. Watch, brothers. If you are a king, or you are a king, and you want to send ambassador to another king, who would you choose? The liar or the trustworthy? Trustworthy. No, paper boy. Who, according to who, who determines who's trustworthy? Because no, no, before. If, no, no, no. I understand. Because if God no, there's is, different no, no, things who determine trustworthy. The, first no, of all, no, no, no. The criteria. angry, paper boy. No, no. Get angry. No, no. First of all, no, no, no. But paper boy. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, you, no, no. Don't let me, don't let me lem. No. Yeah, I'm saying if you want to speak, then make your point. Paper boy. I'm not telling you who determine you. Imagine you are a king, and you know who's trustworthy, who's not. Okay. If someone is, you know who's who is lying, people. You know what it means that someone was a liar. Okay. So, so in so terms you, of in terms of David, David was chosen. I'm by not asking him. about David. I'm okay. asking you. You, okay. if you want to send an ambassador to another king, yes. would you choose a liar to convey your message? Would I, I would. I would send the best person. The best person. Are you more wiser than God? So because. No, Are you more wiser than God? No, 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 Bob, Bob, Bob. Please. Okay. Are you more wiser than God? No, because okay. If, so if, the, if we, he, so if God he, who's if wise, he, I choose a liar. If he's, but he would choose if he's the best. talking about a liar, when we know, but that has was a liar he, he uh, look, he's not, now. no no because he was clearly someone who's standard red herring. no no red herring, red no, herring. because red no, no, it's important because but if he's Pepper making a point of who would you send uh, as a you red herring. Yeah. we do not have uh hadith from Hafs because he was declared as a liar show but me who he, Hafs liar that is a red herring no, no. i was not a liar he was weak. anyone that he was not a liar can go, he, that is the first he, thing he, but he you're red herring i'm books. gonna stop it here he, because it's a red no, herring no no you're he red herring paper boy what's Hafs? that is a red no no okay. no if, i would talk about prophet who don't talk about no, Hafs no 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 tell the people here he's I would he talk said about, about or trustworthiness yeah so we're saying i'm no no because he you can't make if you're if you make a criteria if you make a criteria of uh uh he said about the king that was his example so if the king cannot send a, uh, a, someone that's untrustworthy, we have to be consistent with this standard. So if we now applied this person who was untrustworthy in terms of being a narrator of Hadith, but he was uh, trustworthy in the Quran, there's something strange going on because he's not trustworthy in one thing and he's trustworthy in one another thing. So you, in your sense, if the king sends out someone untrustworthy that person should be in untrustworthy in everything so but we that, say, that, that's a red herring clearly no no it's, it, it's, it's a point because, no, no, because it's, yeah, a yeah, I will push, it's, a close, it's a closed first argument first of all i'm gonna challenge him okay show me which scholar said hafs is a liar bukhari 
Jean Mio says he's a liar. I want. No, no, no. The thing is, no, no. I don't have the reference on me. No, no, no. I will help you. I will help you. Brothers, no, no. Brothers, brothers. Don't get involved, brothers. Brothers, I'm here to deal with him. I'm here to increase the belief of the believers. And for the Christians to know, right. they have no leg to stand on. Okay. Hafs, no one called him a liar. Where they say he was weak when it comes to hadith. Because and he's known his memory, weak and hadith. And you know right. no, 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 no. Yes, no, listen carefully. Is there not some okay. scholars unknown? Like right. some scholars, they were known for hadith. Some more is hadith, but not some more is. Not very perfect in memorizing the Quran okay. and vice versa. So what like, the, wait, let, 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 no, I haven't no, finished. Let everyone know what were the criteria. Uh, was. Of course, was he, no, he, no. Okay. no. We're talking about yeah, he was not, yeah. Hafs was not known to okay. memorize hadith, okay. but he was known when he kept the Quran. He was an expert. Like, for example, and what about the no, books? No, 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 the books. Hold a minute. Okay. If, that's so what I'm saying. Right. That's what I'm saying. When the scholars, when the scholars okay. narrate from their books, sometimes. The only because the only we're gonna go off completely. All right. No, no, so yeah, Havs, no, 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 because it's, a, it's about saying, honesty. Just, uh, yeah, no, no, yeah, it's so, not. It's no, 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 it's not honesty. Havs yes. was known when it comes to hadith. Okay. If he narrates from the book, they take from him. Okay. Why? Because his memory when it comes to hadith was not strong. Okay. However, and the Quran was stronger. Okay. Hear me out, brothers, and even those who are watching. If someone tell you, listen, brothers, 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 brothers if you wanna go speak, speak out, please. Naam. Brothers, if someone tell you. You know, when it comes to biology, I know a bit, but I'm not well expert in biology. But I'm an expert in what? In physics. Would you call him a liar? No, he's a person who is a human being. He's not strong in that. He's strong in that. So but scholars never what, call him a liar. No, 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 no. no. Can, can you, they mentioned the, yeah, because what about the books? They're not they saying no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, because when he read from the he, book. He took borrowed people's books and no, what did he do with the no, books? No, no, it's yeah, good. Yeah, wait, do it. Wait, do it. Go on. No, wait, no, no, you claim it because you, yeah. can't, you, you said Bukhari could have been lying. No, you're, you're explaining. No, 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 no. But you I'm, can't explain one bit no, and no, not no. everything. I'm That's explaining I'm everything. Yes, yeah, so I said explain the books as well. Remember, brothers, again, it's a red herring. Uh, clearly, the, the scholars why, mentioned the, no, uh, the reason why it's, the, the reason why it's not a red herring because he said, if I am a king and I send someone to send a message, would I send a liar or someone that does not have a good reputation? So you can't. Uh, straw man, we're talking about prophet, prophet. We're talking about prophet but, or Hafs. Yes. No, we're talking about. But we're talking no, no, about. No, 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 no. We're talking about prophet or Hafs. You, you get paper boy. I'm talking about prophet or Hafs. The example you gave no, 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 was not about prophet. You said we're if I'm a king. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm we're a king about prophet. and I send a messenger. Okay, okay. Did, did Allah choose? No, no. Did Allah choose Hafs? Did Allah choose Hafs? Yes. Speak, speak. You as well. Did Allah choose Hafs as a prophet? Did He choose him as a prophet? Yeah. Obviously, Hass wasn't a prophet. Who was not a prophet? Okay. Did you God choose a liar as a prophet? So if God chose... No, no, no. This no, is that's my original Allah. point. If yeah, God... Yeah. No, no. Did okay, you... Uh, your point. Did you if, God... Uh, let me out, me yes. out. Did you God choose a liar as a prophet? David was chosen by God. Was so he a liar? If, if was God, he a liar? If God is the Look. author of truth, then whatever criteria God sets huh? is God's standard. Was he a liar? Was he David a liar? Because... Was you, David a liar? Was David... David was not... The, the, a righteous in terms of he didn't do everything perfectly. No, was he a liar? That's my question. You tell me. He was a liar. David, okay. he was a liar. Right. David, you know what he did? He was adulterer. David, his friend, his best friend. So what did well, he do that made him a liar? Hear me, hear me out, hear me out. He used to kill innocent people, then go to the what king. What made him a liar? I'll tell you. Okay. He used to kill innocent people. Okay. When the king used to ask him, where have you been, David? He said, you know, I've just been around just, uh, you know, like a, a holiday. And he was known to kill any of everyone in order for no one to be left out to go back to the king and tell him David attacked our village. Likewise, he did, you know what he did? He set up his own friend. Imagine your friend protecting you during the night time, then at the daytime you send him to fight and you tell your friend, when you go to the fight, everyone pull back, let him get killed. Why? Because I want to have sex with his, with his wife. Is that a prophet of God? I'm asking you, would you ever choose a prophet like that? No. Would you ever choose someone killing innocent people to sleep with their wives? Is, okay. that, is that a good so example? I wouldn't choose a prophet who's, who takes the wife of his son-in-law. I wouldn't take a prophet that goes out and does many of the things that so, so basically did. you accept no, no, it wrong. No, 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 Instead no, of defending no, 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 David, no, 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 he no, no, said, I, I will not do that. I I'm, so no, where is man years old. I'm going by that. man's yeah, I said three years old. You understand? Cool. I'm, say I'm, that? Yeah, the thing is, if he's, uh, he, if he's talking about someone's trustworthiness, because he's making his own moral judgment on someone to say, this is what can, this is not what makes a prophet. That's collective. Yeah, it's a collective. David, look, look, paper boy, fake be honest. Because I can see clearly you're not getting honest. No, no, but paper boy, let's go back to the main point that you cannot prove prophet of God. Because that does not mean anything. In the Bible, Jacob 
was a deceiver. That's what his name. No, meant. Jacob. God was a deceiver in the Bible. Okay. Okay. Is, is it? Is it? God? You know, you talk about Prophet Muhammad as well. Let me just one thing, boy. You said Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah in the Quran, saw who? The 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 angels. First of all, the angels Allah clearly said. Allah said is a test for them. Allah said these angels learn magic to test the people. And every time they want to teach the people, they will say we are a test. Do so, not do it. Let me, let me finish. Right. Let me finish. Uh, don't do it. You see what I'm saying? So clearly, because Allah clearly created this creation for a test. But would God deceive his own prophets? According to the Bible, Jeremiah said, oh, brothers, I'm going to take you out here, please. In the Bible, God said clearly, because I'm speaking and everyone keeps yeah, clicking, 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 yeah. clicking. In the Bible, clearly, Jeremiah said, Oh God, you have deceived me. So if God deceives a prophet, who can we trust anymore? Prophet can be deceived. Can prophet, basically, prophet can tell you, worship so and so, maybe he's been deceived by God. That's your prophet. So you now, have no prophet. Now, you have no leg to stand on. Now, <laughs> it's funny that Shamsi talks about deceivers. But who is the best of the deceivers according to the Quran? It's your, your own God, Allah. Allah says he is the best of the deceivers. Now, this is the same God. He's misquoting the verse. Okay. Are you not misquoting? Allah, Allah is the best of the deceivers. No, there's not the verse. Okay. Can you say Let, the verse? Let's continue. No, no, no. Don't let like Angus the verse. No, don't let like Angus okay. the verse. The verse, look. Okay. The verse Allah said. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Allah is speaking about those who? The evil ones. Because what is a Makkah Arabic language? Okay. Makkah win. You are trying to destroy a people in a hidden way. You figure you're too smart, no one can notice it. So Allah sent a plan against you to show you you're not smarter and wiser than Allah. So Allah does not deceive his prophets. He deceived those who try to deceive good people. So Allah deceived the evil ones who think they are smarter and wiser than Allah. But your God clearly deceives the prophet. Therefore, you have no leg to stand on to say who is a prophet and who is not. Now, clearly, let me uh, speak who's true prophet. Now, let me Shamsi tell you who's true prophet. Shamsi is misquoting or mischaracterizing what uh, is actually in the, in the Old Testament. Let me get so that. When, get Jerem that when Jeremiah said that, it's because God gave him, a, a, told him he was going to be a prophet. And Jeremiah thought it would be a good job. So he's questioning job because it was harder than what he thought it was. It's not that God deceived him. Yes, he's, that's what he says. But if you, take at, if you take the verse out of context, then you have uh, Shamsi's understanding because Jeremiah thought being a prophet would be the most wondrous thing. But it was very difficult because the people did what not did listen that? to him. It's in the, you have to read the whole chapter. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, show us where he says that. Again, I'm, I'm not going to read the whole chapter. No, no, because last no, no. week you made I'm up something and guessed me and you couldn't prove it. Okay. So I'm, I, I, I'm, I, I, I will show you here because clearly. Because the thing is, it, you have to read the story so, of the whole chapter. So I can't what, 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 pull okay, out. I can understand. Okay. okay. So we don't want to go in details. First yes. of all, what we're doing here, paper boy, okay. to go back to the main point. All the right. main point here, okay. you Christians, yes. you have no length to stand on okay. to determine who is a prophet and who is not. Okay. You Christians, Hitler, if he said, I came in the name of Yahweh, okay. you should accept him as a prophet. Okay. Because you have David, who was a liar, murderer, and he's a prophet of God. So now, let, let us, now hear me, hear me out, hear me out. Now, you said also, the prophet that comes, I will tell you the criteria. No, no, no. What are the criteria? The prophet has to be wait, known. Let me just address the point because you made the point and I didn't even say. Okay. First of all, in terms of the gap between the Dead Sea Scrolls and Moses, first of all, what Shamsi is trying to logically construct to people is that uh, the Israelites had the Torah and this was something passed down as a cultural practice. It's linked to their religion as well. So what Shamsi is trying to tell people is the Israelites or the Jews are the only nation in this world that do not know their history because a man 600 years later came and told them actually no this is what is fabricated these are jews who won't even write the name of god on a piece of paper but they've been corrupting their own scriptures even the quran in many places said jesus confirmed what was in his hands so we, if, if, the, if, the dead, if the dead sea scrolls we were before the oldest manuscripts we have and um shamsi believes that it is corrupted or something different then show me what was different because the own Quran confirms that Jesus confirmed the Torah which came before him what we have was the Dead Sea Scrolls so if he's saying it's anything different bring me that evidence because the Jews were very because what Ju what uh, Shamsi is making is a very straw uh, very weak straw man argument these are the people who have God chose because in the Quran it says uh, Allah entrusted the Jews now we're talking about Israelites, you know, we're talking about yeah. now it's going no, to Israelites. No, but I'm answering it now. Okay. So I'm telling you that this is some, 
because the, even the Quran says Allah entrusted the, uh, the Torah to the Jews. And what did they do with it? And no, carry on. Wait, wait. With it? So unless Allah, if I say to Shamsi, entrust me with 500 pounds. Yeah. If I'm not trustworthy, he's not going to say yes. So if Allah has made, if you're saying Allah has made a mistake, even though Allah confirms that people cannot change his word. Red herring, red herring. No, no. It's going to start. He's saying, China. You see, yeah, he's saying, dangerous. how can I trust them? I'm giving him the answer. He just doesn't like my answer. It's not a red no, herring. No, it's not, it's not. Because no. this it's is my criteria. No, no, no. no. Well, because well, well, this is a people who God entrusted. God made a covenant with the Israelites. Did God curse them? God made a covenant with the Israelites. Did God curse them in the he Bible? He said, if you obey my laws, he will bless them. Did and God if, curse if, them? If he if they uh, transgress, he will punish him. This is why they had the Torah because every time they strayed, God sent a prophet. Would it make sense if the book you have was corrupted? A prophet is going to say, "Go back to, to to worshiping God." But how can they do that if the book was corrupted? All the prophets in this uh, in the Old Testament confirm what was what the Jews had. So you're so, you've been so, speaking for long. Yeah, so, so let, me just, let, let, me just, let me just wrap up yeah. my point because okay. I'm trying to get people to be logical about this. The, according to Shamsi, the Jews are the only people in this whole world that do not know their history. They've corrupted everything. Should I believe someone that came 600 years and made claims that go against the books and say it's corrupted? That's where I place my faith in the sovereignty of God who made a covenant with his nation that he will protect them not that their book would be corrupted because if God had foreknowledge and someone tries to corrupt that book God will even within his foreknowledge tell a prophet look this is what happened because this is what he did to Moses the woman uh, he was put in the river and God protected Moses so that his life was not ended so, so God that's would it, that's it, so just, yeah. to Moses. so, 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 so all, all I'm saying is God is sovereign. So when God makes a covenant, no man can break that covenant. Uh, it's been four minutes. Four minutes. Okay, yeah. now I have to speak now. Right. You mentioned many points. No, the first, yeah. Yeah. Let me speak now. The verse is what okay. the verse. So yeah, when yeah. you call the verse, you say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala entrusted the yes. rabbis with the book. Yes. You have to finish the verse. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَوَيُّ الَّذِينَ يَسْمَعُونَ إِلَىٰ كَلَامَ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ يُحَرِّفُونَهُ Woe to those who hear the speech of Allah, then they change it. A person might say, what Allah entrusted the rabbis with the, with the book. Because in order for Allah to show the people the rabbis are the biggest liar, some of them, those who people are trusting, we have to test them. That's what in order for Allah knows, but the people doesn't know because people are trusting the rabbis. So Allah will show them that the rabbis cannot be trusted. How Allah is going to do that? I'm going to entrust this book with them because they want this book to be entrusted. They say, oh Allah, let us take care of it. That's the first thing. So Allah never made a mistake. Allah wants to expose them. You see what I'm saying? Like someone here, people look up to him. So you say, you know what? I know what this guy is on. Let me expose him. So I test him because I know I'm going to expose him for the people. That's the first thing. The second thing that paper boy, because you took four minutes, I just want to ask you did not God in the Old Testament curse the Israelites many times? What did he curse them for? No, no, I'm not asking what he cursed them. Did he curse them? That's my question. What did he curse them? Let's see, he's not answering. Oh, no, anyway, I'll tell you. He cursed them many times. Brothers, would you trust someone who has been cursed? Okay, we don't trust someone who's cursed. Okay, fine. That's the second thing. First thing is a red herring. I'm not saying everything that is in the Old Testament, we don't believe nothing about it. I said, yes, the Old Testament is not the word of God. It contains the word of God and it contains the history of the Israelites. But again, people, what? They have a bias. If I'm going to write about my history, I'm going to try to magnify and glorify myself. That's why I'm saying logic dictates. If you have a manuscript that, what, that gap of 1,000 years, I'm going to ask you simply, why are you trusting a manuscript? You don't know who wrote it. If you don't know who wrote it, can you say they are trustworthy? No. no. What are you going to say? Maybe. That's what Allah said. They're just a guess. Guesswork. Okay. Assume. No, I haven't finished. That's the second thing. The first thing that he keeps running away from, that my main point here is, my main point here is that everyone can notice that the Christians, they have no criteria to determine true prophets and the false prophets. They have nothing to stand on. So now he, them coming to us, Say your prophet Muhammad cannot be a prophet because he fought against enemies. You cannot say that anymore because you have your David, Moses, and to say your prophet cannot be a prophet because he did this, you have worse, worse. That's what Ibn Taymiyyah, may Allah have mercy upon him. One of the Muslim scholars said, he said, for the sake of if you're going to look for this one, for the sake of argument, Ibn Taymiyyah said, whatever you're going to accuse Prophet Muhammad of bad, except you have something way, way worse in your own prophets, okay? 
So that's the first thing. You have nothing left to stand on. So your book cannot be criteria. Do you know why? Because your God cannot make up his mind. I mean, the one who wrote that manuscript. Once he say, if a prophet, that's what he says. I mean, quote it. If you say, this Deuteronomy 1820. If you say in your heart, how can we know the word which the Lord has spoken? If a prophet speaks in my name and the word come to pass, that is the that, that is the word which the Lord has spoken. So basically, if a prophet prophesies and it come to pass, that is a prophet. But guess what? A few pages later, even a false prophet can prophesy and come to pass. Is that contradiction or not? Clear contradiction. True prophet will prophesy and come to pass. False prophet can prophesy and come to pass. You have okay. nothing to say. First, so let Islam first, come in now. First, first Islam give you criteria now, which is a logical, people, rational okay. for true prophecy. Now, first of all, if you're going to go against the Torah, you have to prove that it's corrupted. Not that you're asserting or making points from conjecture. I so, just proved this contradiction. No, 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 no. This so, contradiction. A, that, a con I just proved. Okay, first of all, let me continue. So okay, in sorry. terms of uh, when we go to Quran 544, four, uh, and, we, and we go to the tafsir of Ibn Kafir, what does he say? He says, verily we, did verily we did send down the Torah to Musa. Therein was a guidance in light by which the prophets who submitted themselves to Allah will judge the Jews. Yeah. And those prophets did not deviate from the law of the Torah, yeah. change it or alter it. And also the Rabbi Yun and the Abha, wherein, yeah. yes, yeah. refers to the worshippers and, the are lean and re religious and Abba's to the yeah, scholars. Yeah. For them yeah. was entrusted the protection of yeah. Allah's book, meaning they were entrusted with the book of Allah and they were commanded to adhere and not to hide any part of it. So let's No, no, carry on, carry on. Look at this, eh? No, stop. Carry on. <laughs> Look, someone sent it to him. It's an email. No, uh, <laughs> someone sent it to him. But I, he does know that Ibn Kadir said and they corrupted the book. Okay. He does know that Ibn Kadir mentioned that the rabbis corrupt the book. Okay. So what I'm saying to you, let me ask you something okay. to make it clear because I don't want to go around and around. All right. Okay, the five books of Torah, was he given to Moses? Okay, let me finish what I was saying because now you're interjecting. No, because, no, no, I, I, I was talking about the Torah. Yeah, I was responding. He spoke for a minute. I was speaking for, for a minute. Minutes. Okay. Yeah, so, but you can ask so, one another because I don't yeah. want to take it. Look, I don't yeah. want to go start circling. Yes. I'm going to have to be. Yeah. Ask it five minutes and stop it. I have to go. No, I have five to go. Minutes. Because why? You keep going. I okay. keep saying this, say that. For the people to judge yes. and the people who are watching, yes. so, they will come to conclusion. Yeah, so, so, the, so let's give it longer than five minutes because. No, no, no. No, no. no, no. You cannot. No, no, you cannot. You cannot. No, no. Okay. Yeah. No, because the thing is, I'm responding. So I have. I can respond in any way I want to. So we'll go yeah, for a, no, a no, no, I'm gonna, longer. Listen, listen, I'm not going to go for an hour because I want people to watch it. When people see our yeah, video, they don't watch it. I want the Christians to know, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, in order for the people of the book to come to certainty that Islam is the truth. And for the believers to increase in faith. Okay, if you're going to talk to him, take him away. Okay, 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 when, when he talked about the Trinity 1818, yeah. Yeah, yeah. in terms of prophets speaking something and it not coming okay, to pass, five minutes. we, we listen, know, listen. Yeah, for example, when Muhammad, he, sp what, uh, he spoke about the Adra dates. If you take seven Adra dates every day, you'll not be affected by magic or poison. First of all, that magic is the same magic that was sent by Allah. According to the scripture, God does not associate with black magic. First of all, so you never said magic. Haru, okay, let's no get, get the first, wait, get the first. Wait, wait. Haru, Haru, okay. Haru, and Maru, they were teaching yeah, the people exactly as what? What as what? As, 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 a, as a misguidance. That's okay. That's so, going to create everything. No, God so create everything. So God, that's let, going to create let, everything. Let me clarify. According to the scripture, God does not even send angels to teach people black magic. Black magic is associated with Satan. Full stop. So if you're saying Allah sent it as a guidance, Allah hates. As a guidance? Uh, uh, sorry, as a misguidance, sorry. <laughs> no, no as, a, as a test. As, as a test. Yes, yes. God doesn't even send black magic as a test according to the, uh, to the Bible. God hates no, it black does. magic full it does. stop. And so when, so the, when the passage when, when God send the... Give, 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 me, give me the passage. Give me the, the devil. Yeah. So, okay, the, the, so, so, I'm going to show you God, that yes. you, you yes. God sent the evil spirit to misguide the people. Okay. That's God sent yes, evil people. I can tell you that story. So that no, no. story okay. is where there were false sorry, prophets sorry, sorry, who were communicating with, uh, decept with, with they were false prophets. That's God sent evil people to misguide people. God sent evil spirits to misguide God people. Sent a, uh, an evil. Um, God sent a deceptive spirit okay. for them to make a false prophecy 
No, no. So God sent who? God evil sent people yeah. to misguide the people. No. Let, let me listen to what I said. Let, let us get the passage and yes. let the passage speak. Okay. Uh, clearly, yes. God he sent okay. the now, evil. Okay. Uh, no, no. So no, no, no first. I was, no. I was making my response. So I was talking about the black magic. So you know, like you know, Chris So I'm saying he, uh, God, uh, God does uh, not. Yeah, God yeah. does not send uh, black magic to the people, and he doesn't say only the black magic will work by my authority because that's why I go back to Numbers 23, 23 when God said Israel no, and the pro prophets Prove that God said that, prove that God said that Said what? You have that, 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 that passages, yes. first of all in the Old Testament, correct? Yes And the gap is 100 and 1,000 years Okay Prove that God said that So you have to prove that it's corrupt No, no, or, no, no, no that it's no, you, no, 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 no I'm not claiming because, that it's from God yes. You claim it is from okay. God, correct? Yes, this is the scripture And remember, yes. prove that it's from God Because why? Okay. Those passages was written by scribes okay. that came 1,000 okay. years okay. after So, when, so prove that it's from God According to your Quran, when Jesus, no, confirmed, okay. no, 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 no. When Jesus okay. confirmed what yes. was in his hand, yes. what did he confirm? The true Torah, not this one Where is the true Torah? Uh, yes. no, we have the oldest one, which is the Dead Sea Scroll No, no, no If you're making a claim, if you make a claim that you see this is what the, this is what Satan does. He makes claims that he cannot prove. If there is another Torah, yeah. show it to me. We have the before the Dead Sea Scrolls, we had the Aleppo Codex from the 10th century. Then we found something 1,000 years earlier, which confirms even almost word for word what was in the Aleppo Codex. So if you're making a claim that there was something else, show me where this something else was. Because you're working on conjecture. I'll tell you. Okay, I'll tell you. Yes. Well, first of all, this we, we don't okay. work on conjecture. So what, what we work on evidence. Allah said he gave Torah. To, Allah yes. said he gave a Torah to Moses. Correct. Yes. To Moses, Allah gave a Torah to Moses. Oh my God, what's happening in Deuteronomy? That in Deuteronomy that was given to Moses, say Moses died and he was buried and the people cried for him. Yes. So those passages was given to who? So a scribe they added the, the last parts of Deuteronomy. Uh, oh, no, 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 before you ask me, yes. I'm asking you, you said because Allah said the yes. Torah was given to Moses, correct? Yes. So Allah, how on this on earth you have a passages Speaking right. Moses died and he was buried and the people of the, the Israelites start crying for him and speaking after. Again, I've asked you for the oh, prove to me there was That's an alternative that, Torah. That, no, 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 no. Uh, I no. said what Torah did Jesus have in his hands? Exactly. I'll, I'll tell I'm you. I'm asking you for proof. Okay. That, that, no, no, saying, no, saying who added what a scribe no, added extra uh, 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 verses at the end yeah. is not proven no, no, that no, no, there no. was an alternative wait, what Jesus had. Wait. Yeah. Show us in the Quran Allah said Jesus had a Torah in his hand. Okay. Allah said he confirmed yes. what is between his hand. You know what is between his hand? What? Doesn't mean in his hand. Okay. Because I prophet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, help me, help me. Because yeah, you misunderstand. Meaning that which came before him. Like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He confirmed that which came between his hand. Meaning that which came before him. First of all, so Allah never said the Torah Jesus had it in his hand. Why was That's, it in that, his hand? No, no, no. I never said that. So the Torah no. that was given. Help me, help me out. So clearly, now we can see that the Torah we can trust. Because the Torah was supposed to be given to Moses, however, these passages was revealed after Moses. So who was given to? What the Christian, what the Rabbi said? Some of them said it was added by uh, uh, Joshua. Uh, uh, was name Joshua? Um, okay. No, 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 no. I don't know that before. I don't know that before. My point here is, look, my brothers, this book cannot be trusted. Simple as that. Why? He doesn't know who wrote it. The, the scribes. And there's many contradictions that cannot de and he, he cannot uh, determine cannot determine who is the true prophet, who is the false okay. prophet. And here he said God does not attribute himself to evil. Lying, yeah. Okay, lion. Which one? Nineteen to twenty-three. Yeah. Nineteen to twenty-three. Yeah. Let us read this. I said black understand. magic. I said there's read it. God said no, 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 let us spirit. read it. Let us read it. Yes. Okay. Black magic. Black magic is different. No, 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 no. God Allah doesn't teach people black magic. That's going to teach evil. I said. So say. Yeah. Did did did. Show me where it taught the people. And yeah, and yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. listen. Yeah. And uh, where, show me where it taught the people, yeah. or it deceived yeah. the people. And Micaiah yeah. said, "Therefore, hear the word of the, the Lord. Mm -hmm. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne, and all of the uh, all the host, heaven standing beside him on his right hand, and on his left. And the Lord said, Who will entice Ahab? Who will deceive? Entice means de deceive. Yeah. Look, who will deceive Ahab? Okay. Yeah." That, and a that he Carry might on. go no, up. According to oh, deception, nothing wrong really with Okay, let me yeah. finish, please. Okay. okay. Um, where is it? Here? And okay, where is it? There? Up. That he might go up and fall. Romoth. Who is that? Gile. Gile do something. That's irrelevant. Uh, okay. And one said one thing. Another said another. Then a spirit came forward and stood before the Lord, saying, "I will entice him." And the Lord said to him, "By what means?" And he said, "I will go out and will be." lying spirits 
in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, you are to entice him and you should succeed. So God more, sent in, more, 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 more. Uh, okay, let me succeed. Go out and, and so. Now therefore, behold, the Lord has put a lion spirit in the mouth. God put a lion spirit in the mouth. God, lion spirit, is it something good or evil? Evil. That's God won't against it. Allah clearly said that. وَمَا كَفَرَ سُلَيْمَانِ وَلَكِنَّ الشَّيَاطِينَ كَفَرُوا يُعَلِّمُونَ النَّاسَ السِّحْرِ وَمَا أُنزِلَ عَلَى الْمَلَكَيْنِ بِبَابِ الْهَارُوتِ وَمَارُوتِ وَمَا يُعَلِّمَانِ مِنْ أَحَدٍ حَتَّى يَقُولَ إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ فِتْنَةٍ فَلَا تَكْفُرْ Allah said clearly, Solomon never disbelieved. Why Allah saying that? Because they accused Solomon of magic and they to be idol worshippers. But who disbelieved? The jinn disbelieved, the Satan. Why? Because they used to teach people magic. You see what I'm saying? And who, what, what happened to the story of magic? Allah has to test the people. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us already, He created this creation for a test. So He gave to these angels two things to test the people with. That if you do it, that will happen. However, stay away from it. When you understand the foundation that God created this creation for a test, and you understand Allah told us, yes, Allah said to the angels, teach, but also do what? Warn and guess it. Because it's a test from their Lord. It's a clear cut. Now, but a lion spirit, he never won against it. Now again, Mansour, oh, oh, sorry, Shamsi, Shamsi has just made this straw man. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. as we see, at, that was on point. because, point. No, right. well, no, no, go, you finish. So, so because there's more I want to go into, because this is just the tip of the iceberg. But yeah. in terms of Allah deceived, he said Allah deceived the evil people that were plotting against Jesus. Yes. So yes. in this same, uh, verse that you read there were false prophets so God deceived them by sending a, a deceptive spirit that was straw man in my argument I said God does not teach people black magic yeah. I did not say God cannot deceive people who are false rebellious. prophets or bad people yeah. or rebellious people yeah. so I said God hates black magic that is why he said in number 2023 20, you Israel and Jacob have the protection of black magic because God knows from Deuteronomy that there are people that can do black magic. There are people that can prophesy. There are people that can do other things. Because when we look at even in, um, go back to the story of Moses, when uh, Moses, God sent the 10 plagues, some of the, the, the magicians there, or whatever you want to call them, they did at least four or five of the same, uh, the, the plagues that he did to show that they also had power. But the reason why uh, Moses was successful is because after a while, they could not recreate what Moses did. And they knew that Moses' God was the most high, the true God. So I said, again, show me in my Bible where God associates with black magic. Because according to my faith, only Satan associates with black magic. And, and now... Who, no, me, no, wait, wait, wait. Let me just finish please, my you point. Can't, you can't speak like let that. Let me just finish my point. Let me just, no, let me just finish my point. No, but he made something. Yeah, but let me just finish my point. My point was this, because he said... Allah sent Harut and Marut to, to uh, teach people as a test. It also says Allah only will only allow permit the, the effects of those magic to happen by Allah's will. But now we see a prophet of God who was also bewitched by black magic. In Numbers, God says he protects his prophet or Israel and all the line of Israel from black magic. But yet Allah is allowing black magic to work against his own prophet. Why would a, a God do that? Only Satan, according to my faith, is someone who works against his own people. That he's, he, dis, he, uh, he has no loyalty to his, his own people because you can explain to the whole audience why, according to your uh, faith, Allah allowed Muhammad to be affected by black magic. Okay, so that's uh, one thing, the spirit that of God, because why? Spirits, the angels, are not lie. The spirit that became a liar is an angel. So God telling the spirits, because the spirit comes forward. That's not what and he my, says, but the book says. No, no, but the spirit is. You, you're the, making an assumption on my faith. The, no, no, no. What the spirit that, who, the, the, God was asking who? Sh evil. Show me where an angel uh, turned into a deceiving no, no. spirit. Who is the spirit that was speaking? Because. No, no, I'm asking you, I'm not asking my question. Yes. Who is that spirit who was speaking to God so, in the heaven? Is it Satan with God in heaven? So. No, no, is it Satan with God in heaven? It said God called a deceiving spirit. We don't know where No, it no, came no. From. Is, is it Satan with God in heaven? But Satan's not the only deceit, is not. I'm not asking you that. Spirits. In is the it, heaven, is in the heaven, is there evil spirits in heaven with God? Is there evil spirits in God? In with heaven. God? Yeah. In that circumstance, God called for an evil spirit. The Bible, of course, we would assume there is no uh, 
evil spirits, evil spirits there, but God c called an, a spirit. And what he said, God called who would entice this person. His voice could have gone across the universe. We do not know. No, he came but forward. He came exactly. forward. Exactly. From where? I'll let you speak. From let's, people let's, from where? Let us get it again. Yes. Let me because go. you're now trying again. to interpret. No, no, into wait, what wait. No, no, I will read it out. For second thing, he's God, the creator of everything. Address the point about. No, no, no. Look, he's not answering. I will address it. No, no, he's not. I will address it. No, no, no. I will address it. I will address it. You mentioned many points. We did it step by step. One of them asking you, is God the creator of everything? God creates everything. Including magic. Including magic. God created uh, everything, but then you had evil spirits that also possessed metaphysical knowledge. So this is what, according to our faith, they taught. You God, that's God created everything. No. I'm not asking you. you. Is God the creator of everything? No. Okay, no. So uh, you just said yes. So who is the creator beside God? You believe there's two creators so now? So in terms of black magic... So you believe... Two, so, who is so the creator of God? Magic, no, no, no. Magic. No, no. Before so, we go to black magic, no, I want to establish these the two, they second. just made blasphemy. Second, no, 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 no. Who is the second creator beside God? He's, he's chatting rubbish. But I'm talking rubbish. No, 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 no. That's, that's how he's going to have his No, 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 then what? This a foolish man jumped in to help him. <laughs> Understand? Which you foolish? Ask him a so question then. then. So now is Allah the only creator? No, 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 wait. Is Allah only the creator? Hold on, hold on. Is Allah the only creator? 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 He said there's two creators. So I ask him who's seeking the creator? He wants silence. As for shooting himself, the foot. Watch. So no, there's no because what? The other verse. Allah the best of the creators here. Mean Allah best of the whole to decree. Okay, not the creator. So he's the only creator? Yes. Allah, I'll finish so, with you. So he's the only creator? That verse means the creed, the creator. Is he the only creator? Yes, Allah creator, yeah. Okay. He's the only creator? Yeah, that so, verse. Okay, okay. I'll answer so, you. So, what answer. about no, Jesus? Name answer. 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 Why is that Muhammad was created by black magic? He said to Allah's creation. No, no. Because it's very important that in numbers, God says he protects the creator. No, no, that's why I'm saying. No, no, that's why I'm saying. That's why I'm saying. You're going to have a nice discussion. Let's speak. 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 let us I thought we were going to have a nice discussion, yeah, to be cool. honest. And uh, remember, we went off about prophethood. Yeah. But, uh, no, we're, this I'm is still no, no, prophethood. No, no, no. no. Yes. Uh, uh, that's but, about details now. Yes. We're talking about you cannot establish who's prophethood. I'm giving prophet. you the criteria okay, for now, my Bible. No, no. But now you, uh, I'll let you yes. to do that. But now, even that, we cannot have it. Because okay. why? show me mm. clearly that uh, after we do that, because well, I, I told you last week that yeah. in your book, it never says no prophet will be, be uh, okay. affected by much. It doesn't All say right. that. It doesn't say that, okay? So that's one thing. The other thing Allah clearly said, there is a reason for Allah to do that, to test the people. However, Allah give you the, the solution, how to deal with it. As for Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam being affected by magic, yes. finish the hadith, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as human being, he get like the other humans, get sick, get affected. So uh, the scholar said that magic was put on Prophet Muhammad. If it was put on if it was put on all mankind, they will be killed. However, doesn't, it didn't affect him at all. Except in what? In his strength. It's, it's, that's no. it. You see what I'm saying? Because Allah clearly said in the Quran, Muhammad does not speak from his, from his own okay. desires, he speaks from the revelation. Oh, okay. So you claim it affects his speech, but hold a minute, does God allow himself to get attempted by Satan? That's it. Now we see. So God Almighty, he was <laughs> attempted by Satan. If a Prophet Muhammad got affected by magic, he's a human being. What about God? He got deceived and uh, attempted by Satan. No, att attempted. attempted. That's attempted. Oh. Yeah, attempted by Satan. Tempted. So you, that's okay. what I said. Okay. Attempted. Attempted. So attempted. 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 Not attempted. Okay, attempted. Uh, yeah, Masha is teaching. Oh, well, that's, that's the actual <laughs> words. Okay, the okay. He got attempted yeah, by yeah, Satan. Words. My point here is, for the sake of argument, we say to you, you have a way, way worse in your prophets. So you have no leg to stand that's on. Okay. So what I'm saying, look, I will say to you, all Christians. 
Hitler can be prophet according to you. Okay. All right. Stop let, me. Let, I, let, I have to go. Let me. Okay. Let me. No. 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 Let me. No. 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 We have to pray. Okay. Let me. Let me just give you one thing. No. If you're gonna say it, I'm gonna reply to it. Yes. Stop here. No. Because you. No. Samurai. 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 Because you. No. Samurai. Because he said. He said about the the magic. The magic. Actually, the hadith says. The prophet continued for such and such period, imagining that he had slept with his wives. In fact, he did not. Yeah, it wasn't sure. just his strength. No, listen, it says the, the prophet continued for such and such period, yeah. imagining that he had slept with his wives. Imagine. And in fact, he did not. It doesn't say that his strength just disappeared. No, no, no. no. How, how he imagined? How did he? Okay. Yeah, because our narration, as of course explained, okay. clearly was what he affects his strength. Okay. He used to become very weak. He says that. Okay. So my point here is, look, so summarize, according, summarize it. According to the tafsir of Asab Nazil Al Wahid, it says the messenger of Allah, Allah bless him and give him peace, fell ill for a period of six months during which the head of his hair fell off. There's no he, hadith for that. There's he, no hadith. This is there's tafsir. No I yeah. said there's a tafsir. Ta tafsir, yeah. we don't take tafsir. Again. Yeah, but because I'm, I'm here, just, you know why? Okay. We take tafsir. See, the, 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 I'm reading from your scholar. No, paper boy. Yeah, but me, look, no, 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 yeah, as yeah, yeah, but let me finish. Okay. Let me just read from yeah. your tafsir. You see, that's what I'm saying. Because when you speak to a Muslim, they'll say first go to the Arabic. If then they'll say go to the tafsirs. Yeah, we say that. They jump around. So I'm going to the tafsir. No, but tafsir. Look, look. This scholar, he cannot say happened to Prophet Muhammad without hadith because he was not there. Okay. You understand so, that? Well, That's I'm just going to read that. that yeah. the, Tafsir what, means to explain the hadith, yeah. not to add. Well, I'm just going to read the, 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 the... Yeah, but I'm, I'm not obliged to listen yeah, to but that. but I'm just going to tell the people they can decide at home and do their research on So, it, so it, it says, it says the Messenger of Allah fell, fell ill. Agree with him. I well, well, I, huh? well, that's what is absolutely well, that's, yeah, yeah, you're Arabic, finish. that's good for let you. Let you. Let but let anyway, it says, him, the messenger of Allah took, uh, fell ill for six he months, he during which the hair of his head fell off. He imagined he slept with his wife when he did not, and was withering away when known without the reason. So now what Shamsi is saying is that his scholars are untrustworthy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so no, no. So no, no, summarize it. Summarize it here. I'm gonna summarize. Have to go. Yeah. Summarize it. The Christians they have no criteria to establish which true prophet was not. Even I allow him to use Bible, okay. which his Bible can even be criteria for the same argument. Why? Because he doesn't know who wrote the Old Testament. The, te the Old Testament, the gap between the prophet and the, or the writer, the, the, the manuscript is 1,000 years. So he doesn't describe. Akhi, 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 you can. Bro brother. Akhi, Shada. The scribes of the Old Testament, you don't know their names, nothing. So what I will tell you, the, the criteria in Islam, how to know a true prophet, first of all, it has to be trustworthy, truthful. The second thing has to come with the same foundation, worship in one God. The first thing has to come with prophecy. The fourth thing has to come with what? With the miracles. The fifth thing, God will aid him and defend him. The fact that Prophet Muhammad never died until Islam was well established, until then his companions established Islam, that is a fact Prophet Muhammad is a true prophet. Okay. But you, now, according now, to you, even Hitler can be prophet. According no, to the, halas, I have to leave. Yeah, so according, so, according, this is what I've got to say. According, according to the scripture, that, that, yeah, yeah, we'll that, to the camera, because I have to go, seriously. Yeah, okay. prayer. You yeah, have something we'll, here. We'll continue. No, 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 halas, no because I'll this continue private, because when I spoke to you private, it was completely different. Because this is the thing. No, no, I'm not going to start speaking Muhammad died under pretenses of a false prophet. A Jew woman said to him, if Again, this look, kills you, you... That's why I have to reply yeah, now. No, no, because th this is the thing. I will want to go through the evidence. That is a miracle, you. the hadith. Do you know why? No, wait, no, no. It's a miracle. Okay, but no, let, pray. Let, let, and let's no, 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 he said, I can feel the pain of the poison that woman poisoned me. Okay. Yeah? But so, hold a minute. So we have Musnad Iman Ahmed bin Hamad. I just helped yes? you, the hadith. Yes. So I'm just giving it to people. So it says, uh, the woman said, uh, I wanted to know if you were a prophet, that Allah would tell you about it. And if you were not a prophet, then I would have rid the people of you when you were the messenger of Allah. No, no, so read no, it before, read before. Don't miss God. Read before. Because this hadith is proof of Muhammad's true prophet. Read it. Thank you, you very much. Continue reading. Now read it before. So it says it was narrated from Ibn Abbas yeah. that a Jewish woman gave the Messenger of Allah some poisoned mutton. Okay. He sent the word to her asking, "What made you do what you did?" Yes. She said, "I wanted to know if you were a prophet, that Allah would tell you about it, and if you were not a prophet, then I would have rid the people of you." Okay. When, mes when the Messenger felt 
no, no. Did no, no, let, me, no, let me finish now. Uh, let me just finish it off. Okay, let's finish it off. When, when, when the, me me thing, yeah, when the messenger of Allah felt any pain because of that, he would be treated with cupping. Uh, tr treated with cupping. On one occasion, he travelled and when he entered I I Iram, he felt some pain because of that and was treated with cupping. So that says this as Isnad is Sahih. So now what we see is he's going. He was affected by poison and he continued getting cupping for because it was in the blood. And this cupping and the poison in the blood is what led to his death. So I'm going to ask you a question. Was the poison what, what killed him? Yes not, or directly, no? not directly. Not direct. He yeah. said not directly. Yeah, because, well, let me, okay. not, let me speak. All right. Now this hadith, yes. as Ibn Taymiyyah said, whatever the Christians shall to bring and guess us, we use it and guess them. Okay. First of all, the Christians are not allowed to use any of our sources to support their claim. Do you know why? Because they believe Prophet Muhammad was a pure liar. But we can use their sources because we believe Jesus was a true prophet. That's the first thing. The second thing, this hadith, there's a miracle in it because Allah told him there's a poison. Even he mentioned that the lamb spoke to Prophet Muhammad that I have a poison. So Prophet Muhammad wanted went to the woman. He said, what made you do this? She said, I want to see if you're a true prophet. So she knew true prophet Allah will protect him. What happened? That a poison killed his companion. Prophet Muhammad wasallam, nothing happened to him. So how on earth a powerful poison kills someone right there and then, the same person who ate from the same food, nothing happened to him. Few years after, when Allah, because Allah mentioned that any false prophet Allah will seize him and will, it will destroy him. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when his prophet, his religion will, will establish, he, will, he died and as course mentioned, one of the way to die as a martyr is to die from the pain of the, the stomach. And well, that's what he was feeling. So he died as a prophet of Allah and as a martyr. So that narration I use against you. Now one thing before I leave, when Satan took your God to the top of the mountain, how did he take him? So. Again. No, so no, 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 answer me, no, answer, answer me, answer, answer me. Answer. When your, when the Satan took your God to the top of the mountain, how he took him? Oh, no, look. What do you mean? And the, oh, 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 yeah, you feel like recording, record him that he stopped. Record Yeah, so cool. So how he took him? How he took him? How he took him? Yeah, this is the question that when your God, when you Satan took your God to the top of the mountain, how he took him? By his will? And when he show him all the Do kingdom, how the kingdom. he did. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Oh, we showed him the whole kingdom on the earth. So, so the reason why a Satan was able to show Jesus all the kingdoms is because it was a, a, a metaphysical realm, not a physical realm. What does he say that in the Bible? I'm giving you the Christian. No, 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 uh, How he he's him? saying a, a Christian cannot interpret his scripture, so he cannot no, interpret which scholars, his, his, which scholars said that. I'm telling you, ah, there's no scholars, there's, there's no Christian scholars said that. Because How he took him? Because Christians, How he took him? How he took him? How he took him? Do not have the same. How he took him? These Christians do not have the same scholars it's, in terms uh, of Islam. No, no, no. The church How he took him? The, the church interprets the scripture. How he took him, baby boy? How Satan took God to the top of the mountain? How did he take him? By hand? Did he deceive him, or how he did it? How, why, he didn't deceive him to go to the mountain. So, how, so, so he willingly go to the uh, top How did he do it? What does the scripture say? That he went? He, he went to the top? No, but who took him? Wow. Yes. What does it <laughs> So So Satan, okay. of course God was okay. not willingly following okay. Satan. He must deceive him. Okay. Oh, put magic on him. He put, okay. you know, some magic the reason him. why what anyway. he's saying is a straw man is because no, no, he's now. Anyway. He, he's, saying me, no, no, he's saying to me. No, no, he's saying to me. You have to wait for it. You see, he's, he's running, running away. I'm not, no, 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 speaking no, for a long time. I said, wait, wait, wait. I said, wait, wait, wait. I said, I said. I thought you were only I said, I've been saying for a long time. I said, 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 Wrapping it up and running away. No, because I'm not I want to address it properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so all that time you didn't show the problem. No. Okay. So the proof? If, no, brother, brother, brother. Because I don't like it when it comes like that. Okay. So all that time you didn't have a time to dress it. Wait, yes. Okay. We are just doing. Oh, okay. okay. Let me, let me ask you. You know what we're doing? You and I, both of us, we're doing that. Yes. We are repeating ourselves. Okay. Yeah. Because that's it. What I want. You said. the people judge. You said your prophet died as a martyr. Yes. How did he die as a martyr? Because Prophet Muhammad said one of the ways that as a martyr when you get the pain from the stomach. And that's what happened to him. When so, that poison, yes. the pain started coming from so the his st uh, stomach. So okay? the, the poison so, 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 caused the pain in his stomach. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. the yeah. woman was proved yeah. true because he's no, a martyr. He didn't die, no, no. no, no, no. He didn't no, no. die after that. He didn't die after that. No, no. Because why? She said, because, no, no, no. You're changing it. Why? Okay. Because the poison 
supposed to kill the prophet no. right there and then. Correct? Who told you that? I tell you because, okay. because I tell you how that. How can you be I'll a martyr? You, you yeah. me, but uh, from no, the poison. Look, look, he how asked can you question? No, but look, why you didn't answer that? But listen, you just in the mountain. Why you did it? Now we have the most to talk. Because we jumped. No, we jumped. He's not sincere. No, no, because we jumped. We were talking about poison. Then we went to the mountain. I wanted to. That's why I said to him. You got been deceived. But listen, this is what I'm saying to you. Okay, wait, wait. Let me ask him a question. No, no, you said to me, how do you know? Because this is the thing. Paper boy, you asked me a question. How do I know that the poison could someone kill someone right there and there? Because the the companion that he ate with the Prophet Muhammad, he died right there and then. But Prophet Muhammad never died right there and then. Rather, Prophet Muhammad Allah informed him there was a poison. That's why the Jew woman she knew that. But this is the woman's words were fulfilled. No, my point is if it doesn't make it died. No, 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 why did he die then? This way. This is why. Why did he die? Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me just finish. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, let's go shoot. No, no, wait. I tell you guys. He had the flu. He had the flu first. That's why I said go and come back. No, 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 because it's poison. So I can go through the hadith. No, no, no. But he doesn't want to go through it. Listen carefully to me. Because I have the evidence. And I said let's go through the evidence. If you allow me to finish my point. But if you choose to go through it, then we're making little points. That's why I said go through it, come back. Let's conclude. No, no, no. You know what else. How do you know? What kind of evidence do you have? Okay, okay. What I'm saying is because. I have flu in my Look, look, yes. look, one thing. My point, how prof you the hadith is Sahih Bukhari, he said. Okay, uh, how, how let me finish. But he went for copying, yeah? No, yeah. okay, yeah. the hadith yeah. I have to check anyway. Yeah. But yeah. even yeah. if you want to copy, the okay. fact that. Okay, I have the hadith right okay. here. Okay, okay, it's Musa Ibn Ahmed. My no, no, it's not that one. Okay, khalas, uh, that's all yeah, right. Yeah, say your point. My point, look, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ate it. Ibn Qayyim. Ibn Qayyim is not hadith collector anyway. Okay, but okay. 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 there's no hadith of book, Ibn Qayyim, anyway. All right. So, anyway, the shahid, the point is, look, we've been speaking for long. And I thought I'm going to have a nice discussion with him, only yeah. discussion, that everyone can see the main point he could not establish. It. Now he's going to Prophet Muhammad died from poison. As yeah. In the Bible clearly said, if God speak in the name of other God, if, if a prophet speaks uh, yeah, in the yeah. other name of God, but Who? Jesus was killed according to you. Yeah. Moses was killed according to you. Yeah. So he's a false prophet? No. Yeah. Meaning that he will be killed you before. See, no, let was, me finish. I let me finish. That's why I said let's Moses discuss it. No, he died. Because, because, because when you take it, he will die. 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 Jesus, Jesus, Jesus will kill. No, but uh, Jesus will kill. Hey, 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 you but you keep going to have me clearly that you know right? my point is so look, you can't compare hey, excuse me can you go away and speak okay. <laughs> speaking here. thank you Jeez. thank you thank you very much my point here is look <coughs> prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam never died directly from the poison because he became sick how he had flu and he had cold and his head became very hot so he however uh, uh, doesn't kill no one finish, finish, when he become very much cold and the pain and so, so on when, he said he's still feeling the poison he was there. Brother, this is a joke. He's, uh, listen, are you, are you listening? He said clearly, he's still feeling the pain from that poison. He never said the pain, they never said poison killed him. He's still feeling from the pain of that poison. That's the first thing. Okay? So, never said poison killed him directly. So, what does it mean, as the scholars mentioned? It means that a false prophet, if God will never let him to establish, he will take his soul before he establish the religion. The fact that Prophet Muhammad establishes the religion perfectly in the Arab Peninsula, and that shows you he's a true prophet. Because if he was a false prophet, God will expose him. Just as he exposed, what's his name? That false prophet in India, likewise, expose who? Paul, your so called. Okay, so as I was saying, okay. I when, when I brought up Ibn Qayyim, so I'll read what is from his book, uh, the yeah, yeah, Prophetic Medicine. So it says, it says, it says,